Anyone who knows Nick Saban knows just how sentimental he really is. I mean, the guy's like the notebook in the Titanic wrapped into a crimson colored pullover. How's Texas treating you? Already had our fill of Texas barbecue, and I am not lying. Maybe I'll tweet a picture after the show. From 5 and 0 inside the top 10 and in control of the SEC East to 5 and 3 on the outside looking in. The Vols leading rusher transferring while another star tweets cryptic messages. And you thought Tennessee Tech Week would be boring. Are there any concerns they might be looking past Appalachian State? I think all of the looking past Appalachian State stuff stopped when Appalachian State beat Michigan, who was a top 10 team a few years ago. Now, that's a good segue because I actually had the chance to ask Tim Tebow that question. Nothing against July, but it is one of the most fun months to rip off and throw away. August is next. And as everyone knows, August is Latin for football. August is now, and so is the start to preseason camps all over the country. Nine o'clock tip off, Paul. What do you expect late tonight? Yes, get the coffee ready. But once the game starts, I assure you, you will not need any coffee. Well, now to the good stuff. Who doesn't like a good round of prognostication? Sorry, gang, no groomers here. Those are Gruden rumors for those not familiar. But yes, there's a but. They fell one play shy in postseason play for the second straight year. Utter madness, complete misery for San Jose fans, but absolute elation for the Nashville faithful. Got a prediction? I can't see how the Panthers can lose that game. Oh, tell you the truth. okay. There you have it, Denver yeah. wins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the goal every year is to win a championship. So that's our goal every year is to win a championship. Nothing unusual there. However, a combination of South Carolina, Florida, and LSU took away any shot at the SEC or National Championship for Tennessee. And when you're paid $4.1 million a year in the SEC, those are the two biggest championships, right? When we talked about winning championships, they're a champion. They've, they've won the biggest championship, and that's a championship of life. You heard right. Go ahead, play it again. And that's a championship of life. Class of 2016, life champions, as declared by head coach Butch Jones. To quote a text message from a prominent former Tennessee football player, life hasn't even started yet. They're 22, it's college football. Stop with the smoke and mirrors. Stay on the subject of why you didn't get more out of this team. End quote. Less than a year later, you are declared cancer free and cleared to play NFL football once again. Take me through the emotion stepping on the field week one playing the game you love. Gators defensive back Quincy Wilson, known for being shy, decided to go all when Dr. Seuss meets William Shakespeare. Nobody has ever seen a duck pull a truck. The Florida Gators are going to win. What's the origin of that metaphor? I don't know. <laughs> Might know why he doesn't know, because it didn't exist. Not the metaphor, not the action. Think about it. A guaranteed win because no one has ever seen a duck pull a truck. And that's what you thought at least. And then Oregon stepped into the equation on Twitter today. Much to the chagrin of Quincy Wilson and the Florida Gators. Yes, that my friends is exactly what it seems. A duck pulling a truck. And by that math, Tennessee wins, right? Kickoff Saturday, 3.30 Neyland Stadium. I will be on the sidelines. What? is cancer. They say it's the closest to death that you'll ever experience. Cancer is sometimes death's doorstep. And you're just stuck in a room and, and you're wondering if you're even, even gonna make it. It's sleepless nights, unmotivated days, it's scars, it's chemo, it's stem cell transplants. You're throwing up, your mind's in a different place, you're depressed one second, you're happy the next. It's been the past five years for former East Ridge football assistant Austin Roden. How this all happened at 20 years old. Um, one day I'm healthy, the next day I'm having brain surgery. Five years to knock down, drag out bouts with brain cancer. Austin no longer fears death, but the side effects have left him with little long-term employment options. Austin can't work with computers. The screens cause migraines and a slew of other problems. So he waits tables, for now that is. Enter Heidi Burkhart, New York philanthropist, but more importantly, the brains behind the blank cancer campaign. Austin to me is someone that represents strength, represents resilience, 
and represents a hope to other cancer fighters that you can defeat it, you can fight. Heidi bought in. Austin is now an ambassador for blank cancer. The plan is for Austin to share his message of fight, faith, and determination with others. I want to take on the challenge to help a, help a world of people, not just a city of people. Here's where you come in. Blank Cancer has connections with both the NBA and the NFL. Heidi is pushing to have Austin share his message at league games and events. You can show your support with a simple email to Heidi. More on that in just a few moments. Those emails will find their way to both the NFL and the NBA commissioners. You guys have demonstrated it so many times this year that you guys are a loud noise when you guys unite together. And that's what I love about Chattanooga. I'm really just hoping to God that you guys will support Austin to do that much more, to live his dream and inspire me. It's not every day you meet a two-time brain cancer survivor under the age of 26. Austin's clearly still alive for a reason. And now more than ever, he believes that reason is to inspire someone, anyone, faced with even part of what he's battled. Just give me an opportunity and see where I can take it. I'm only one, but I am one. That's the saying my dad told me. It's always stuck in my head. I, I'm only one, but I am one. You know, so if one person can do it, maybe ten can 